simplifying this expression. So I'm going to cover up the bottom and only worry about the top. Since I have the same base and I'm multiplying, I'm going to combine the two fractions by adding. Now, how can I do that without being stressed out? Well, oops, excuse me, this is supposed to be a 4. How can I do that without being stressed out? Well, I can go to Desmos, which we'll find right up here, and I can use Desmos as a tool. So I'm going to start by putting them in parentheses. 2 thirds plus negative 7 fourths. And now I don't want to approximate. It's not asking me to run. I want an exact number. So if you hit this little fraction key, negative 13 twelfths, negative 13 twelfths. So I'm going to come back to my picture. This is negative 13 twelfths. Now let's look at the bottom. Some of you can do this in your head. Again, when you're sharing, you're going to multiply. So I want to take 1 third times negative 9. If you're not good with that, 1 third times negative 9, we can achieve that number. 1 excuse me, making sure it stays in parentheses. 1 third times negative 9, we can see the answer is negative 3. So what do I do here? There's a couple different ways to do this. There's a couple different ways to do this. Remember when you have the same base, you have the exact same base and same base and your Dividing, we want to subtract. Well, what do we subtract? It's top minus bottom. Top, subtract bottom. That's when you're dividing, you have the same base. So I'm going to plug this into decimals just as I see it. Negative 13 twelfths, subtract a negative 3. Negative 13 twelfths, subtract a negative 3. So negative 13 twelfths. subtract a negative 3. And again, I don't like that answer because I don't want to approximate around. But when I click here, I get the exact answer of 23 over 12. 23 over 12. So I come back and this final answer would be C, 23 over 12. Final answer, simplified form.